Finally, we are doing it. So today topic is chem. Probably for majority of you, chem profile is one of the things where you will decide will you use something like a soft motion or some other motion kernel with similar functionality or you will go with much simpler system. However, in soft motion to use a chem profile, first of all, you need to use two function blocks one to select, second to execute your cam profile and then you need to have the cam structure and for today's video we will do the basic things for cam let's create our instances, let's call them in motion fbs and let's prepare our visualization and then we will continue with the cam profile and cam editor let's start Okay, and now we need to create our camp table application, add object, camp table, and we'll call it just cam. Add. Now by default, you have some graph. Most important one is the upper one, which shows you position. Now well, let's make it a bit larger. And here we have something between zero and 360 for both axes lower part is master axis and vertical you have your slave position now if you click on a camp table you will see that this matches to our points on our graph we can run exactly this camp table we will not change anything what you need to do when you create your camp table is go to your function blocks and on MC cam table select you just need to say what is your cam table and this is the name so you just put cam you need to select on MC cam in cam table ID from your MC cam table select by default cam editor is using polynomial cam profile that means that between each point there is polynomial of fifth degree calculation running and now we can load this program. And axes are running. We will not change any settings. On MC Cam in, we have start mode absolute. That means that we need to start in absolute position our master and slave. And we know that our cam table starts from 0, 0. That means that we need to put our axis to zero, 0 position. First of all, let's again prepare. Put something on MC stop just that we can stop it. And also on velocity because we will use velocity on a master. And we can now enable our drives. We need to put slave to zero. So let's execute MC set position. You can also see that on MC cam table select, we set periodic. That means that when the period is finished, he will start again. For that, we will also use trace and we will use this F2 set positions of our master and slave axis. We will delete the rest. Let's download our trace. First, you need to execute MC cam table select to select the cam table. 
when it's done now you can run your MC cam in and immediately it's in sync because it's zero zero position now we will run our move velocity and as we can see it's running and again so let's check our trace let's zoom out and what do we have as both axes in our example are modulo axis we have exactly our cam table running in modulo between 0 and 360 for both axes and this is actually our cam table let's stop the trace and analyze just one part if we compare it to our cam table it's identical this is basic example of how to use the cam profile in next videos we will show you different functionalities in terms of flying shear in terms of other applications which you can use that's it for today thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye